Did I say recorder? Okay. So we're just going to dry in between the client's toes, dry off all of her feet, and you'll see that Roz does have some varnish on. So I'm going to remove that with our nail polish remover. It's only behind the two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> it won't be too hard to come <laughs> off then. Just one layer, layer. I do need a bin as well, which is always a wee. Thank you. Want it there? Yeah. Is that any good? Lovely. Okay, so this is our first chance for us to get to check the actual nails now for any infections. Okay, well some of you are sat quite a long way away, if you want to come in a little bit closer. Okay. You can't see them on this camera, can you? You can't, you can see where you're doing, but you can't actually no. see the toilet. on YouTube. <laughs> Something else your clients might have when you're checking their toenails are some ridges in the toenails, either coming up long ways or Ros has just got one going across there, which can be an indication of some damage previously. I can't remember which toe it was, but one of them got took off by the dog. There we are. That's been that one. Okay. So with our toenails, we would always either cut them or file them. How do we want them? Okay, just straight across. And with our emery board, we can use the coarser side, particularly if the nails are quite strong. Okay, so just straight across the nail file. And just bevel down just to join all of those layers together. If your client needed her toenails cut in your kit, you've either got a scissors or you have got a, a toenail cutters, whichever one you prefer to use. Do we all know how to use the toenail cutters? Do you want to go through that? Do you always cut the cross? I was going to say, do you always cut the cross? Straight across. Straight across. Yeah. yeah. Or you could come in from one side in from the other as well. With the toes it can be quite awkward because you don't know how to hold them, but you'll find your own way into holding them in the individual. Okay. Ask your client how long she wants her toenails because just because you like your toenails particularly short. We brought someone to you, Oh, lovely. Oh, hi. hi just because you like your toenails really, really short, that doesn't mean to say that our client wants her toenails really short. Um, and some clients can have their toenails really, really long. Which I find quite bizarre, but um, makes holes in your socks. We've got to go with what a client wants, don't we? Can you get off? Can you pass me that cotton bed? Okay, thank you. Okay, so a little bit of your cuticle cream on the back of your hand, exactly the same as our fingers. We're just going to apply that to the toes. Apply that to the toes there. We can get that in our kit, can we? Cuticle cream. No, no products in your kit. But cuticle oil. Yeah, sorry. That, that's about the only thing there. Okay. Apply that to the toes. We can keep that to use the other side later if we want to. And we're just going to massage it in. <coughs> if you have a look at the cuticles on your client's toes, you'll find that usually they're not as hard or um, as the ones on people's fingers. 
just ask our client to pop that back in the water.